Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. I guess I should unmute. <laughs> I'm new. I run Tech Tuesday and I don't know how to unmute my Zoom. So <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, I'm Wendy Goss and a real estate boss in Las Vegas. And I am here to teach you this week about Canva brand. So um, uh, I'm not sure how many Canva users are in here, but this is pretty cool because it makes life a little bit easier when you have your brand all set up. And uh, the cool thing about brand is that you can be more than just a realtor. So if you have a side gig going on like Tech Tuesday, you know, you could be Tech Tuesday or you could sell makeup or, you know, um, what is that? Pamper Chef. Like you could have your own Pamper Chef, chef brand and then also your realtor brand. So you set up different brand kits. It makes your marketing so much easier when you're creating documents, flyers, postcards, social media, whatever it is. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So uh, I'm just going to share my screen and hop right into it. So this is Canva. If you don't know what Canva is, you really should. This is like a huge part of, of um, creating almost anything right here. Uh, last week, we went over kind of how to use Canva and how to, you know, find the things that you want to do. But we also talked about brand. So um, that is what we're going to dive in deep today and talk about Canva brand. So um, you're just going to go here to the side right here. Brand, you'll see brand templates, brand kit, brand controls. Uh, this is where you build your brand. Okay. So and when I say brand, um, I mean like, you know, your logo, your colors, maybe your your headshot, right? Your font, all the different stuff that you can add. You even have like a brand voice if you want things to sound like you. So um, anyway, we're going to talk about all of that today. So if you click on a brand kit, this is what I was talking about. So you can actually create more than one brand kit um, for anything that you're doing. So you're going to click on brand kit and then you're going to click on add new and then you're going to name your brand kit. So um, we're going to just name it Wendy Goss uh, Realtor. We'll name it Wendy Goss Realtor and then create. And then so you kind of just start with the logo. If you add your logo, you're going to click upload, go find it on your computer. We're going to find it right here. We're going to use this cartoon logo that I have because there's a lot of colors to it. And then, um, and then it's going to kind of populate all of your colors right out of the logo. I'm going to definitely take out, um, some of these. Let's see here. Keep but we want to get rid of that, get rid of that. We don't need browns and we do need red. So I don't know why it's not finding the red. There's definitely red there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, yeah. So basically those are my colors. I think I pulled in the blue from my jeans, but um, this is, this is, this is it right here. So you want to make sure you have a white in your color palette and, or I mean a black and then a white also. Um, it makes your designs so much easier. And then you can go here and say, okay, I want to add a new font. Um, my titles, I always want them to be like cute and scripty. You could even type in script. And it'll bring up all of the scripts right here. So I like that one. That looks cool. And then you could do a subtitle with maybe more of a normal font. 
you know, like uh, just like aerial font, stuff like that. So you could go ahead and you can pick, look at how many, and you can even add more. You could have so many, but they, they say to try to keep your fonts to like three or four max. So if you have one design with seven different fonts, it's going to be very busy. It's not going to be pretty. So um, here's a, a new feature that they have, uh, and you can add your brand voice. So, so you can go here, or you could go into ChatGPT like I did and type in like, uh, you know, hi, I help people buy and sell houses in the Las Vegas area. I'm focusing on, um, you know, new homeowners uh turning renters into buyers you know whatever you do whatever you do you could type it into chat gbt and say what would my brand voice be and boom they will give you they will give you what your voice is and you can pop it right into here so another thing you can do is add uh like photos like photos that you always use right so maybe um we'll add that one, I don't even know what these are. I can't see them. They're too small. So hopefully, hopefully that's okay. Anyway, so say you like use these all the time. <laughs> oh my God. My Halloween picture is in there. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you could actually put photos in here. Like maybe you have certain houses from your listings, like certain pictures from your listings you want to add in there. That way you can add like, you know, those gorgeous bathrooms or gorgeous kitchens you can use on a social post with, and you can put words to it. So say you use, you know, a certain one all the time, you can definitely do that. Um, you can uh, add graphics in here. Uh, and that would be like maybe your signature, you know, so you upload your signature and that's a graphic, your icons are your little tiny icons that you want saved. Anyway, so basically that is how you create your whole brand, okay? So then you're gonna wanna click save to make sure you have it. And then when you go back uh, to brand, now you're gonna see Wendy Goss Realtor, right? Right here. So when you go to work on things, so say, uh, you open up something that you want to recreate, you can go to your brand and then, uh, uh, so this is on luxury right now. Say I want to go to my Winnie Goss Realtor. Now I can like shuffle through the colors of, you know, my new brand, right? So I can easily take this. I'm totally messing up my thing. I can take this, delete that, put my logo in there. So everything is kind of right at your fingertips. The, the best part about branding is that you don't have to go looking for everything all over again, right? So say we want to, you know, use my title for that. Wait. Yeah, I wonder why you can't just select it and then press that. This is giving me a new one. Anyway, your brand is right there if you want to add text to it. Um, and then like say I want to put one of my pictures in there. The pictures can go right there. So anyway, having your brand all right here instead of going to your uploads and trying to find, you know, your your logo that you uploaded like 20 years ago, right? Behind all this stuff. So it's just kind of making your life a lot easier. Uh, that is what brand kit is all about. And then getting this back to normal because I don't want to mess it up. And then if I go here and say, like, I like this for my market updates, right? So say I want to keep this as one of my market updates. I can go share and then I can save this as a brand template. 
So, um, shoot. Sorry. Back up. <laughs> back up. You got to go back to brand and you got to create your, uh, here, let me go back into my realtor right here. You want to add a folder at the very top and you're going to say, uh, Wendy Gotts Realtor. That way you can put brand templates right here. Okay. So add to the new folder. It's going to be right there. Then when you go back to uh, something that you want to save as a brand template, uh, it's, I don't know where it went. Oh, here. So say you want to save this, you're going to click share brand template, and then you're going to go to your projects and put it in Winnie Goss Realtor. So then you're going to click add. And then, and then when you go to your brand kit, you're going to have all these different templates. So like if you use, um, you know, something that you're going to want to change all the time, but you use it all the time, uh, that's what you're going to want to put there. So if you look at my, uh, tech Tuesday brand right here, we use this template all the time. I have that font, those colors. And then I just pop a new picture in and we talk about, you know, and then we put what we are talking about. So that is in my Tech Tuesday folder and I never have to go finding it. You know what I mean? So um, if you go to my uh, luxury brand, luxury, this is like all the different uh, stuff that we use for our luxury um, marketing. But yeah, you can kind of just organize it just a little bit better. Uh, and then let's say you want to go here to, where is that guide? There was a guide here. Where? I guess I'm remember where it was. See, I should have saved it as a template and then I wouldn't have been able to find it, but I kind of wanted to show you. Okay, we'll just go up here and find guide. Uh, oh, moving guide right here. So if you click on moving guide, uh, you can actually go here and you can select that, right? And then you can go to your brand let's say I'm going to switch this to luxury because I did my brand voice in luxury and and you can say generate in this brand voice so it's going to take this paragraph okay and then you click generate and it's going to generate it in your own brand voice and it's going to sound kind of fancy because my luxury voice is kind of fancy <laughs> And then you can kind of recreate a PDF to sound more like you. So um, anyway, so it it's you know, embarking on the journey of relocation begins with a blueprint of meticulous organization. Anyway, it's kind of funny. So uh, has anybody figured out their brand voice yet? Blanca, have you figured out your brand? Brand voice or Debbie? Have you done your brand voice yet on Canva? No, I don't even know what brand voice. I've actually just gotten like a whole template full of, I mean, a whole section full of like all my brand stuff, but not a voice. Yeah, so brand voice is in there now and you can you can um, go into ChatGBT and you can say, okay, I'm a realtor in Ventura County. And I help people buy and sell homes, but my main focus is whatever it is you are focusing on, like whatever clients you're focusing on, like downsizing or whatever, you know, and then, and then say, what would my brand voice be? And then chat GPT will tell you, <laughs> oh. they'll tell you what your brand voice is. And then you copy it and paste it into brand voice in Canva. And then when you're editing PDFs and stuff, and you want it to sound like you, then you just highlight uh, that section and then click your brand voice and it rewrites it for you. Oh, okay. No, I haven't. I, I'm kind of like a little 
I don't know, iffy about, you know, them taking over. <laughs> I, I know. I'm I know. Curious. It's fun. It is fun. And it's not like they're taking over. It's just people that use AI are going to like run past us if we don't. I know. So, I know. I get that. it. It's just kind of like, uh, I'm one of those like hop on the caboose kind of person instead of like. <laughs> I actually love it because um, I am, I'm from Oregon and I'm full on redneck. So like it's kind of helped me, you know, talk to the audience I want to talk to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I don't. So, yes, it can take the redneck right out of you. <laughs> but then once they meet you, they're like, oh, yeah, you you, <laughs> you uh, use chat GBT for all of yours. Yeah. Right. And you yeah. have the paid version, correct? Yes. Yes. Debbie, do you use I, brand voice? I have not explored the brand kit yet. I just have been running and going on what I know and I need to get my brand kit established. Is that the right word? Right. So yeah, you literally, I think I just built a brand kit in like five minutes. I know. I saw but, that. And so I, all it takes is uploading your logo first and then it's going to pull all the colors from it. Right. And then, yeah, if you use the same fonts over and over and you're constantly changing it, like that's just so cool to be able to have those right there and um and the colors i love that you can like go here to like this pdf but didn't it already kind of do some of that before the quote unquote brand kit was established because it canva didn't always have a brand so to speak that i thought of they got like your logo your colors and all of that so i could get the text code for my color like i have a, a darker red so it would give me the hex code for the colors that I used. Right. Um, say your colors, say you have more than a, a couple colors, right? So say you have like, like um, this, right? So you can go through and shuffle like with all of your colors to see what you like on the. Right. So yeah. I don't remember them having like all of them at the same time. You know, no, I think it was like you had to kind of go grab it. You know, I think it pulled from like your logo, and like my yeah. logo was red, white, and black. So, yeah, so like if your logo is on something you're working on. It when you go to colors, like if you want, oh wait, we're editing photos. So like say, um, you want to go here when you edit. Shoot, no, when you go to colors, it's automatically get a pull from what is on here. So like if you have something with your logo on it, it's automatically going to pull, but you kind of have to go and click and click, you know what I mean? So it didn't have like where you can go and shuffle. And that's the coolest thing because you, yeah. don't, you don't think about if a red background is going to look better than a black one or, you know, white or whatever. So, so. I do like that. I, I do like being able to have my logos like right there and never have to go look for them because if, I know you use it a lot. So yeah. you probably go to upload and have to scroll through all your pictures to get your logo. Well, here well, they're just right there. I also delete a lot of my pictures. Like as soon as I make whatever it is I'm making, I delete the picture. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, that would be smart too. But yeah, I said well, some of them I leave on there, but some of them I do delete. Like if it's a monthly market update and I've got like a, a, a graphic image, right. I'll delete it as soon as I make whatever it is I'm doing for the monthly market update and then I'll delete because I know I'm not going to use it again because it was for March 2024. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't ever delete anything out of there. This was. <laughs> This was when uh, we just worked on yesterday and it basically shows sellers what your split test ads look like. So um, a copy of your Facebook ad right here and then like the results and then um, your YouTube like that. So you could go and change this like if I wanted to use this for, um, for my other brand, right? My Wendy Gosser real estate boss. 
I could just easily, you know, delete and then put my my other one on, you know, because you could hop from brand to brand. So, or if you are working on other, because I did look at someone the other day and they work on other people's stuff, right? So if you're working and doing things for other people, you can create like a Debbie folder, right? And a Blanca folder and a Julie folder, you know, so that, so their logos, their fonts and their colors are all right there. And that's kind of genius, you know? Yeah. So I didn't even think about that because someone was like, oh yeah, I have so and so right inside mine. Like all of their brand is inside my brand and it would have just been so much easier to just create separate brands for those. So anyway, um, but yeah, love it. Linda, do you have your brand kit set up? Oh, she just turned her camera off. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I, I I missed that uh, replay. I was just up uh, getting ready for my open house, so I thought I'd just log in and hear what you guys were talking about. Yeah, so just uh, setting up your brand kit, which is your logo, your colors, your fonts, everything like that, makes it super easy to go in and and you know create social media posts and documents and flyers and postcards because everything is just right there so so yeah that would be amazing to get set up so, was that on your tech tuesday is that the video i need to watch yeah we actually just did it here too <laughs> oh i was a little late <laughs> yeah no that's okay that's okay I'm trying to be ready for my open house and trying to multitask here all right good luck okay thank you welcome Julie, do you have your brand kit set up? I do, except for the brand boys. Okay. Yeah, that is new. They just they just added that. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to try that when I get stopped here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I like the photos too. So um unless you delete everything like Debbie. <laughs> I I yeah. I always, I'm always looking for like a really cool photo to put somewhere um that's you know luxury so I have like all of these like oh uh let's just say here and I want to put a really cool photo here for this market report I can um go to brand and then go to luxury and then I'll select and then you scroll down here and here's all these photos. So like you could go, okay, I want to do this pool instead. Right. So you could just drag that over, make it that one instead. Or maybe I want this really cool bathroom, you know? So, so having those like to be able to incorporate into your um, marketing is so cool because then you don't really have to go try to find anything. It's right there, right? So you pop in a living room, like whatever looks good, right? Anyway, so I do love that I can put all my favorite photos in my brand so that I can use them at any time. So anyway, that is basically um, brand kit. Anybody have any questions? Wendy, where do you go for that brand voice? Where exactly is it? If you don't mind showing me again. Okay. So yeah, going here. So you're going to go click on your brand. Or go back home. Go to brand. Sorry, I'm starting over. Go to brand. Sorry. And then, no, no, no. I just, this is probably the easiest way. And then click on whatever brand kit you want to do. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see brand voice. And this is where you're going to add your brand voice. And so like when I went to chat GBT to try to figure out what my voice was. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Rockstar realtor brand voice. <laughs> uh, okay, it didn't come up. I don't know why it's not coming up. Okay, Lux Realtor Brand Voice. Oh my gosh, nothing is showing up. Um, 
So you could say, all right, here, I think, uh, that's, oh, that's a slogan. Okay. So I'm on tech Tuesday. So if I wanted to do a tech Tuesday brand voice, it would be like, um, what is my, my brand voice that I, um, need a tech Tuesday and for realtors while teaching them tips and tricks of real estate tech in a fun and easy way. So it just kind of says educational yet entertaining, uh, approachable and relatable. So like it just kind of gives you an idea of what your brand voice is. And then you can pop that in there. And and then when you go to, you know, um, change like a document, like a moving guide or a buyer's guide or a seller's guide, it's going to write it in your voice. So if you want to be like a super sophisticated luxury realtor or, you know, a super fun realtor that works with first time home buyers, you know, helping them obtain their dream home, you know, just whatever it is that you do, you put it in there and it will tell you like what your brand voice is and then you just incorporate that. And then when you go to rewrite things uh, that you like, say you buy things from Etsy, you know, and it doesn't sound anything like you. You can just pop it in there, add your brand voice to it, and then um, there you go. I think that a better way of actually explaining instead of saying your voice is to talk to them in a way they can relate to. Your ideal client. Right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You've got to play with chat GPT. There's not a one-stop shop. <laughs> So you got to kind of work around it. Um, but sometimes if you put like the key points of what you're trying to accomplish and wh what you do and your personality, it should, it should like give you like a breakdown of what it is and then put it in there. Or if you know your brand voice, you don't even have to go to chat GPT. You just be like, I am super fun and outgoing, full of energy, right? And I am doing this, this and this, you know? And, and then it should rewrite it to a super fun, energetic, you know, post helping people buy and sell houses or whatever. It would be nice to get like prompts, good prompts for those, you know, just to kind of like try to figure out who who do I want to be as far as like the brands, you know, because I'm not like super enthusiastic. I'm kind of like in the middle of all that. I'm not like blah either. So it would be kind of <laughs> nice to know what to tell them. Right. Well, I know. And the thing is, is not everybody knows their brand voice, you know, and sometimes it takes someone that knows you to tell you what your brand voice is. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, because, yeah, we are our worst critic. And we probably think we have a terrible voice. <laughs> but people that, you know, work with you, they they think differently because obviously they already know, like, and trust you for a reason. And it's because of your voice. So. But yeah, interesting stuff. Sometimes you'll find stuff, um, uh, Canva templates and stuff that sound exactly how you want to be, you know? But then sometimes you want to change it up. You're like, oof, especially if it says boasts. <laughs> yeah, usually you have to tell ChatGPT, it's like, okay, tone it down or <laughs> don't use boasts. <laughs> Does not tell me all kind of thing. Oh, okay. So I do use it, but it's not like, oh, um, I don't know. I think some people are, uh, I don't remember. We went to one of the Mayshore things at my trainings and it was just more like here, let them become you almost, you know, let them do this. And I'm like, okay, I don't know. Well, I'm not ready for that kind of thing. So. Right. I know. And Linnea, Linnea's chat GBT freaking sounds like her to a T. Yeah. That's what she's been. She spends a lot of time in there. And yeah. 
if really that was her. So it's confused by me because I have a feeling I have a lot of different brand voices. So <laughs> I have, you know, my regular and then laundry and then Tech Tuesday. And, you know, it's just like, I think it's just very confused. So when it is something, yeah, it's a like, you know, teach it. Okay. And you're supposed to hop into the same conversation that you are having with it about that brand. You know what I mean? And then it'll write it that way. And then if you hop into the luxury one, then because you're supposed to teach it your business. So uh, going in there and doing all those things, um, Phil Stringer was amazing at doing that. He, If you want to hop into my Tech Tuesday and watch the replay, it was so good. And he literally gives you all these um, tips and tricks on uh, training chat GBT. Oh, what day was that one? Do you know? Oh, it was a long time ago, but just go to Tech Tuesday and click the search field and type in, I think, AI or Phil Stringer, something like that, and then it should pop right up. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I got to take off. I have another Zoom. So thank you for showing up and good luck in your Canva. Next week, uh, we will be talking about landing pages and website. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.